Hi hey everybody. So I was tagged by uh, Rod at uh, Beating Around the Bushcraft Kwood to uh, do a video on my favorite bushcraft knife. And uh, I guess to answer that, I'm going to have to decide exactly what bushcraft is because it's, I'm not a real hip guy and I'm not real trendy, so I don't uh, I don't keep up on things. And I guess uh, from what I've seen, bushcraft just means uh, uh, outdoorsmanship and uh, camping and uh, taking care of yourself in the woods and having a, a little general knowledge of the outdoors and and the environment and how to take care of yourself in such. So um, when I'm camping and, and hiking and stuff like that, I guess my favorite knife to uh, to carry, uh, my, my most reliable old time knife is uh, this uh, I think I've had this ready, but this uh, this Gerber Gator here, and uh, this guy, as you can see, was made in Portland, Oregon, USA. Once upon a time, they used to make these in Portland, Oregon, and uh, they were a really good knife at that time. I don't know how the quality is now that uh, they're being made over there in China, but uh, I've had the two of these, gosh, 13 or 14 years, maybe more and um, the blades still stay razor sharp and uh, they're light light knives and for a folding knife I think they're a great knife the grip on them is really nice that rubberized gator skin grip it's no joke and the, it's really ergonomic they're great for doing work at least for me you know maybe they don't work for you but they work good for me um, and uh, when they're wet you can't lose grip on them on the river I like them I obviously don't take them in my kayak they're too sharp to be messed around with if you can't see good, but uh, razor sharp knife, super pointed. Um, the non serrated one I've used for skinning, they're a good knife. They're a good knife. Um, I also, when I'm hiking and hunting and uh, camping, I carry my SE4 that my older brother gave me before he passed away, and uh, I, I carry it number one because I told him I'd carry it everywhere I went, and uh, number two. Because it's just a good knife. He 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 had a good taste for quality things, and uh, he introduced me to the SE or EC. I may not be saying it right. You know, get uptight about that. You're just gonna have to calm yourself. Um, SE or EC, however you say it exactly, the Randall Adventure Training Knives. Um, and uh, I liked that knife so much that I went out and I thought, well, I need the bigger one. So I bought the uh, the five, and uh, the five is enormous. It's enormous and it's heavy. Um, but I gotta tell you, for doing camp tasks, uh, it's it's awesome. It, I've actually seen where the adventure training Randall's adventure training guys say that this is not a bushcraft knife. Um, so I guess maybe I don't know exactly what that means, because for setting up camp and uh, busting up kindling and making feather sticks and all that kind of stuff, this knife is great. It's great. It's actually better than the four because of the weight and the leverage of it and you can just pop wood apart and you can split with it. I'll actually probably, I, I filmed some stuff uh, busting up some wood and things like that, not even batoning, um, but just busting up some wood with this and uh, uh, making some feather sticks and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll put some footage of that on here with the audio cut out because I was getting bombed by the roosters and screaming kids and it was just, it was a mess trying to record this afternoon outside. <clears throat> But uh, I love this knife. I personally love this knife. The reason I don't usually carry this knife is because this knife weighs as much as this hatchet. And it can do a lot of the same things as this hatchet, but it cannot hammer. And uh, this hatchet can. And I carry my hatchet. I, if I'm going to say what my favorite camp setup thing is, if, I, if there's one thing I, I wouldn't go without, is probably my hatchet. Because for pounding in stakes and sharpening stakes and whittling sticks and yeah, making kindling, chopping off limbs and when you saw down a small tree just delimit it real quick with a good sharp hatchet. You just can't beat a good sharp hatchet. Uh, I know Lars on Survival Russia says it's just romanticism to carry a hatchet but I gotta disagree with the with with the great Lars on that one because uh, 
they're 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 super useful, super useful. I use mine around camp crazy, and uh, this is not even an expensive hatchet. This is just a Collins Axe hatchet. You get this at your hardware store for like 20, 25 bucks, and they keep a good edge. It's probably not the best hatchet in the world, but you know what? They they work fine for me, and uh, I'm sure they work fine for you too. Now, I had to show I had to show this little guy because. I think I've had this for like 15 years or more. It's a stainless steel, mossy oak, uh, frost cutlery, just a hunting knife that my father got me uh, down at the local Wally World. But uh, this knife, I've had it forever, and it has held an edge really, really well for just a low-end hunting knife. The frost cutlery, stainless steel, mossy oak knife. Uh, it's, it's a great knife. It's reliable. I'll carry it for skinning and, and gutting and stuff like that, and even dealing with fish. But it's the handle is a little bit rough for doing camp work and stuff like that. It's it's not got a great grip. It's a little short for my hand. I need a little bit more handle for my hand. Um, but uh, it's it's been a great knife over the years. You've got to love the little leather sheath that came with. So if I, I guess if I'm gonna say what my absolute favorite knife would be, uh, it's 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 gonna be between the five. Is probably my favorite, but the knife I, I carry and use the most is either going to be the SE4, or it's it's gonna be, and everybody everybody hates on the Gator, but uh, it's gonna be the Gerber Gator uh, for for folding knife and. Uh, Full tang is going to be the SE4 for me. And my, like I said, probably my favorite camp tool though is uh, is my hatchet. And I, I'll pack this heavy sucker every time just because, man, I, I, there's so much use for it. Depending on the environment, I and mean, if I'm going somewhere like above tree line or something like that, somewhere where there's not going to be any, any use for it, obviously I won't carry it. But you know, I I, uh, I carry it more often than not. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed my knives. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll put a little bit of footage in there of me kind of processing some wood up with the five and the four, and uh, just show you guys a little bit of these knives in action. But I'm gonna have the audio cut on that because I doubt you want to listen to my roosters crow. I chased them and chased them, but they wouldn't stop, man. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. And I. Uh, we're up about 46 subscribers right now. It's, it's almost hard to believe we've only been doing this about a month. And I know that's like nothing to some people, but that's huge for me. I, I'm not involved in any kind of other social media of any kind or anything like that. And I'm really not the kind of person to do this kind of thing. But I was talked into doing it. I'm really glad I was because I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And uh, I've really enjoyed all the other outdoorsmen that I'm corresponding with, uh, meeting you guys and, and getting to know you guys and your channels. And uh, it's, this has been something fun for me and my family, and uh, we're going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep bringing you guys adventures, and hopefully it'll just get better and better as I, as I get more and more things figured out. Um, the wool blankets that I featured on my last episode, I'm going to try to get a link put in some of my videos where you guys can go straight to the Shepherd Stream and buy those wool blankets if you want to from my videos because I'm not trying to pitch you guys here or anything, but those are great blankets, man, and, and they're, they're awesome to have. In the summertime, I'll probably just cap, carry one of those blankets and my ground pad when it's really, really warm. You know, obviously not in, in some places where it could get hairy, but um, I, I, they're, they're pretty nice, man. They're pretty nice, and, and they don't want to burn like polyester does. That's everything, everything nowadays is made out of flammable petroleum products, and I, I'm personally really fond of cotton and, and poly yeah, cotton and polyester cotton and uh, wool as, as much as I can on my body yeah, for both work and for uh, outdoors and adventuring because it just your body just adapts to it better you breathe and you don't sweat as much and the sweat that you do have gets wicked away from you so uh, really really would uh, implore you to look into wool winter wear man uh, it's it's nice stuff. But uh, like I said, I'll have a link for you guys in the future for those blankets so that uh, you guys will be able to get your hands on those blankets from Shepherd's Dream. That's all organic wool products. So it's nice. You won't be, you know, you're not putting any poisons on yourself or your kids or your family. 
Um, they're good quality products made by a nice family company. In fact, part of my family works for it. So yeah, I mean, I got something to gain in this, but I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to push nothing on you that uh, I, I don't use myself. And uh, yeah, I mean, you've seen, I, I, I bet my life on them blankets. But uh, anyway, guys, everybody who, who's commented or subscribed, liked, or even just come by to watch even one episode or five minutes of an episode, I, I thank you very much. This is all very personal for me, and uh, I, I really enjoyed making these, and it's it's uh, it's been a real, real good time. We're going to keep, like I said, cranking stuff out for you guys. So stick around, and uh, don't be shy. Say hi in the comments, and give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. If you like the stuff, if not, you know, it's not for everybody. But uh, thanks for watching anyway. Still over going. Let's see it's starting to burn its way up the wood. And man, when that guy gets going, it gets going. 